I'll start the recording. I will do a a recitation of the few things we did before we got started. All right, it just started. All right, thank you. Uh, this is a meeting of the Shorewood Police Commission. We got started officially at 532. I, the recording was delayed for just a couple of minutes. The only things we've done at this par is do a call to order, check in with microphones and introduce our new appointed commissioner, Lip uh, Joanne Lipizovic. Uh, and then moving forward uh, with our agenda, and we actually have a fairly short agenda at this point, um, our, next, our next point would be to discuss the potential 2024 quarterly meeting dates looking forward. We usually do those meeting dates and then because I have the original agenda, I'm going to assume the next one would be to have a conversation about re-electing officers or electing officers. Yeah, uh, on the amended agenda, Rick, that's number three and then uh, quarterly meeting date. So I'm not sure if you want to go in order. No, I'll go back in order. Always makes it interesting. So so with that, um, the Shorewood Police Commission, the bylaws require a yearly, a yearly uh, voting of of the commission, uh, essentially the position of president of the commission and secretary of the commission. Now, with that, I've had a couple of brief conversations with people. And um, when I was asking that whether or not they were interested in potentially being a president of the Shore Police Commission, I was threatened with violence. Um, <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, it could have but, been me already. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just from the standpoint with the uh, with Jennifer Anderson leaving the commission, that does leave an open opening for a secretary. I will say, for the sake of brevity, I am willing. I am willing to continue to serve, but I don't necessarily have to serve. Um, if we wanted to be mean, Mr. Uh, Bullock is. Mr. Bullock is excused from today's meeting because he is not he is feeling unwell. Um, in my world previously, if you missed a meeting and you were unwell, you usually were appointed to a new position. I don't suggest we do that to him today. But um, just to put it out there, I am willing to continue to serve uh, as president. Is there any anyone uh, but on that, I would need to put out whether or not anyone else had an interest. And my screen shows an absolute lack of response. <laughs> You're the only crazy person. In the group. <laughs> <laughs> and um, beyond that, then we would just need a motion for somebody from somebody other than me to go for that particular uh, choice. I'll make that motion that uh, you, Rick Cole, continue as president of the police commission. I'll second yeah. it. Oh, All great. right. For purposes of the record, the official name is Richard Allen Cole Jr. or Richard Cole. But yes, absolutely. Um, I'm willing to serve and I accept that. Uh, then we should just go. I don't think there's any discussion because nobody else is interested. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and take a quick vote on that? And I would say uh, Commissioner Bullock's excuse, so not him. I would say in order then, uh, Commissioner Moore, what's your aye. vote? All right. Aye, aye. Yeah. Commissioner McKnight, what's your vote? Aye. All right. Commissioner Lipozovic, what's your vote? Aye. All right. And then because we're at four instead of five, ordinarily I'd stand back, but I will accept and vote for myself to continue as the president. <laughs> With that, I would believe the motion carries. Correct, Captain Santiago? Yes, sir. Yes, it All does. Right. Then the next step, um, because she doesn't have enough on her plate, I did mention to one of the other commissioners that we would potentially need a secretary uh, position. And with that, um, Ms. Lipozovic, since you're new to our group, is that something you would be interested in? Otherwise, Ms. McKnight did did consent to... to I, I'm going to happily defer to Ms. McKnight because I'm brand new and I just as soon be listening and paying attention for a while before I add anything else. All right. So thanks. And 
And uh, Mr. Moore's uh, uh, particular position, I don't believe he's interested. In, am I correct in that? You are correct. <laughs> All right. So with the position of secretary of the police commission, um, I would then make a motion or I'd make a nomination for Sarah McKnight to to be nominated to be uh, the secretary of the uh, Shore Police Commission. I second Do I have that. a second? All right. I second, second it. All right. So with that, first by me, seconded by uh, Mr. Moore, then I will just call the roll going in, going in order. Uh, Ms. McKnight, what's your vote on that? Aye. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Moore, what's your vote? Aye. All right. Uh, Ms. L Ms. Lipisovic, what's your Aye. All right. And then um, I would vote aye as well. Uh, and again, Mr. Bullock is uh, absent for cause. Uh, yeah. So now that we've got our officers back, back uh, at least upped and re-upped, then our agenda item number four is discussing potential 2024 quarterly meeting dates. And um, Chief, if I can just kind of, for the sake of brevity, um, our next meeting date is set for October... 23rd. 23rd. All right. So with, uh, with this one in August and September 20, 23rd, would it be safe to say that unless an issue comes up, we can pretty much use that as finishing out the quarter and then try and start fresh after the first of the year. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. And then um, which days of the week for an evening meeting tends to work? Um, would start with yourself from that portion. Uh, do you prefer a Wednesday like tonight? Uh, Thursday, what what tends to not conflict with your other responsibilities and your other meeting dates? Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays are good for me. All right. Then it just because we're in Teams or Zoom or, you know, Google, and it's it's this way, I'll just go around the room. Um, Sarah, do you have a preference on the evenings of the week that work better for you? Wednesdays work great for me. I would have a little flexibility, to, like Tuesday would be my second preference, but Wednesday's my first. Okay, all right. And Mr. Moore, from your standpoint, uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays? I would say Wednesdays are probably the best. Okay, all right, Wednesdays, so but far. I'm flexible, yeah, but okay. I'm flexible. And then Ms. Lipisovic, uh, from your standpoint, uh, Tuesdays, what? Thursdays would be better. I have some competing things on Wednesdays <clears throat> monthly. Okay. With, is that every Wednesday or is it? Is Third it, Wednesday of the month. Okay. So if we looked at either the second or the fourth Wednesday of the month, would that be clear with your response? Most of the time, yeah, it should be. Okay. Um, okay. So if, from my standpoint, Wednesdays are you... Wednesdays are usually pretty good. I do teach a class for the court system the last Wednesday of the month, uh, almost every month during the semester. So we're looking at the second Wednesday. If that would the second Wednesday, if we were doing this quarterly, not conflict with your schedule, Ms. Lipizova? Um, You know, at this point, presumably, yes, second. I'm not looking all the way out to like January. So we're talking January, April. It Something would be, like yeah, it would be March, uh, March, June, September, and December. Okay. Roughly. March. I'm going to be gone in March. I can tell you that right now. I'm looking at my calendar. I know I won't be here. Okay. But that's just the way, you know. Well, and, and just to kind of, just to kind of bring you along on this. So a number of years ago, there had been a complaint. There weren't regularly scheduled meetings. And because there wasn't business, there really wasn't right having said that in order to address that particular concern the effort has been to set quarterly meetings and then if there is no agenda we cancel the meeting and we Perfect. just there was no agenda that's great all right and that way if if someone does have something they want to bring forward it's there's there's a time and a place and if there's no agenda we don't use our times all right so um 
I don't think the setting of the meetings needs to be something moved and voted upon. I think we can just do that without it. Um, and if you don't mind, uh, Chief, would you mind taking a look at a calendar at some point in the future before October 23rd, kind of looking at what would seem to be the second Wednesday of March, June, September, December, and then just we can talk about those dates and kind of get them set at the next meeting. Okay. All right. Excellent. So that takes us to that point to our next point. So um, pursuant to pursuant to statute as it relates, and the reason for our meeting tonight is that we're going to be interviewing at our level a candidate for the police officer eligibility list for Shorewood. So following state statute and reading directly from the uh, directly from the language, I'm I'm going to make a motion to convene in closed session pursuant to section 1985 sub 1 sub C of the Wisconsin state statutes for the purpose of considering issues of employment on the following items. A interview police officer candidates, B discuss police officer candidates to establish an eligibility list for the position of police officer. Now, um, let's make the motion and then I just have a question for Captain Santiago before we do so. Uh, I've made the motion is, do I have a second? I second it. All right. Motion is moved by me, seconded by uh, Ms. Lukasovic. And, um, and then I'll just call the roll. Uh, uh, Ms. McKnight, how do you vote? Aye. All right. Mr. Moore, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Lukasovic, how do you vote? Aye. And I myself also say aye. Um, so I would, I would be asking to move into closed session. One question I have beforehand, Captain Santiago, for closed session, since we're in a recording in a, in a public meeting, I'm not seeing anybody extra in. Are you moving us to a separate breakout room or are we going to stay in this room and you're going to watch anybody that tries to come into the room that's not invited? You're muted, Fernando. Yeah, that was my thought. Um, I'll just watch it since nobody else is here. I mean, I have the room set up, but really there's no reason to move into it at this point. Okay, but you will have to stop the recording. Can you do that? Because the recording yes. has to be stopped. And because we're in closed session and for the purpose of anybody that takes a look at our, takes a look at our meeting in the future, rightfully so, they just need to be aware that that's that's what we're doing is we're stopping the recording of the meeting at this particular point because we're moving into closed session. And as I see the screen, there is no other members of the public that were interested that have attempted to uh, to uh, join our meeting. That's correct. All right. So why don't you go I will ahead? Stop. 